Hello, welcome, good evening, India Startup 360's Tech Talk Show. Uh, this is the second of a series of technical talk show that we will be uh, conducting in the days to come. And uh, today we have very eminent uh, personalities all across the globe, especially we have women entrepreneurs who have done a commendable job with their uh, millet ventures and uh, who have uh, managed to get their product to Middle East. So I'll be adding one by one and we'll have a, a interaction with everybody and we'll start up the show. So to start the show, I am adding a personality from Assam. Yeah, Divya, very good evening and uh, welcome to our Tech Talk show. A uh, quick introduction and then uh, we'll go consequently. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for calling me in this wonderful uh, session, a uh, discussion session. And I am thankful to you for bringing the ladies and uh, recognizing them, acknowledging their um, uh, work. Um, you know, with uh, taking keeping in mind the Women's Day that happened recently. Yeah, I'm Divya Jyoti Bhargavai Saikya. I am basically I hail from uh, Guwahati, Assam, but I am based out of Hyderabad, and uh, I have started a millet venture there, a millet food processing company there, uh, with my partner uh, Madhavi Pomar, who is also here today with us, and uh, she is from uh, Tirupati and. Uh, uh, we are doing millet-based, ready-to-eat, healthy snacks. And we are glad uh, we are now able to, you know, uh, export our products to, millet, uh, to Middle East. Okay, okay, okay. Without further uh, wait, I'll add up Madhavi right now. Yeah, very good Hello. evening, Madhavi. A quick yeah, good evening, from sir. your side. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead, Madhavi. We can hear you. Yeah. Uh, actually, yes, yes. As a mother, first we thought of uh, having the healthy snacks to our children. That is a motive of our actual company launching. So after that, we identified the millet. Means that is a uh, very good uh, nutrients and all those things. Uh, being, I have worked in National Institute of Nutrition. So that knowledge helped me to launch the, means uh, recognize the product very easily. That too, I'm from uh, Rail Sima background. So there ample of millets are there. So from, since our childhood, we used to eat that. After that, we forgot to uh, and add in our um, uh, meals and all those things. So that's what I thought that uh, we want to make it easy uh, to ready to eat. Uh, then it will be uh, very useful to mothers also to feed their children. Now, we are not using any additives and preservatives like that, so that it will be very healthy and tasty also and affordable also. That is the simple very good. thing. Very good. Uh, now uh, I am connecting one more young girl from uh, Pune who has uh, also done a commendable job in the domain. I welcome uh, Ms. Jayashri Chaudhary. A quick introduction, Jashree. Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, Partha. Thank you so much for inviting me to this forum. Thank you so much. So I'm Jashree Choudhury. I'm from Pune. I'm representing Skyroots Venture. I'm the co-director of Skyroots Venture. I'm proud to say that Skyroots Venture is 100% women entrepreneurs owned organization. We established uh, Skyroots into breakfast cereals in February 2019 in association with Indian Dietary Association, Pune. And post that, uh, we increased our uh, product range into Indian millets. And we have a range of breakfast cereals, healthy mixes, ready mixes, then millet bars, healthy snacking. And uh, our mission is very simple. We want to help Indian consumers in bringing back their healthy life, healthy lifestyle with forgotten millets, Indian millets. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So going down south, I now call upon... Uh, Ms. Padmavati from Chennai. Happy evening. Happy evening. 
happy evening to all i am padmavathi uh, my company name is varani health foods we are into the manufacture of uh, multi grain health mix actually we started this company during covid and while we were sitting at home uh, we got an idea to open a company uh, which is uh, that is bringing back our traditional foods to the society to make them healthy because during covid we were uh, we were thinking about the traditional foods and what are the foods which will make us healthy and all that is the reason we started this company and our product is a unique product which uh, i have consumed when i was in a younger age then my daughter has consumed the same product now my grandchild granddaughter is consuming the same product so this is a main motto to bring this uh, product to the society and it is not it is uh, not uh, it is not adulterated adulterated it is it is uh, no preservative as a mother how we care for the children we have brought this product to the society to make the society healthy and strong thank you so kind of you so kind of you you said your grandchild is it yeah. yes yes sir yes sir we have a grandmother amazing Good. yes now, yeah yeah now i have one yeah, uh, young lady uh, of course she is from dubai okay she is feeding a lot of uh, indian staying there at dubai with her own traditional uh, way of uh, cooking so uh, now call upon mr deva arunachalam from dubai good evening all thank you thank you mr partha for giving this opportunity and uh, it's nice to know divya madhavi padmavati and uh, jayshree good evening to you all <coughs> myself uh, i'm uh, based from karikodi and uh, living in dubai for last 15 years uh, basically i am a insurance consultant by profession and uh, um, it's again a service industry so always this has been in my uh, mind like you know there is something a business should uh, give back to society any business that you do it should have something we are giving back to the society so during this 15 years i uh, we started our insurance broking in 2012 and then we ventured into a restaurant business which is we have here a chain of restaurant where we are uh, given a franchise as well a uh, name of the restaurant is chetnad house restaurant and then we were thinking like you know what is next because in our restaurant we have a one speciality that we don't use soda and ajinomoto for any of the food items which is i think most of the restaurant it's it's a tough call to take but um, we felt that is what we have to give back uh, to society like you know when they are eating they should feel like it is a homemade food and then we moved on to a food stuff mart which is we have in dubai here where you will get we are more uh, focused into non pesticides fruits and vegetables which we are importing from south and then we are giving it here and then slowly we ventured into um, uh, millets which is uh, here there are some suppliers who who bring their millets here and we have that in our mart because in today's scenario the food is makes lot of difference because being in the insurance industry we we get um, into lots of claims which is health related thing now even a 28 years of a person gets a heart attack and no smoking no drinking but still they get it it's the reason behind that is the food habit that they go i mean they take it so we thought okay like you know so where i mean in today's scenario the millets which we all i mean forgotten and now we all are moving back to our olden days so this kind of a product is also coming in and being a person i always say when we born it's like uh, you born like you know it it can be a accident but uh, um live with a legacy that is more important and then when you create a legacy people should remember with the activity that you have done it and in that one part is like you know bringing this kind of a product to the society some way we have to add value to the society and i am also um, uh, president of a lions club here where we do lot of uh, activities again social activity 
so um, this is what a uh, intro about me and then let's i'm i'm here to take it from others like you know what we have for today thank you excellent 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 uh, we have uh, one young lady of course from uh, chennai who is willing to serve us uh, a hot cup of coffee so oh. i call upon mr dhanalakshmi yeah good evening good evening everyone um thank you patha sir for giving us this uh, wonderful platform on the women's day happy to be a part of all the women here uh, so thank you for this platform i would love to serve coffee if i can really uh, do it virtually also so a small uh, introduction about me uh, my name is anrakshmi i'm a professional uh, trainer soft skill trainer Uh, we own a estate at Malikeri Creek. So few a uh, few months back, uh, because of this COVID, uh, I had a lot of chance to go visit my estate at Creek. So when I was sitting there, I, I really got attracted by the uh, serene environment and how the coffee is grown. And uh, for past fifty sixty years, it's been uh, how the family has been brought up the estate. so it was just the bean that was being sold uh, to the uh, egg process but the uh, coffee powder was never being served from the take to the customer so that's when i thought why don't i give the final product to the customers who drink it because there are a lot of adulterations into it they add a lot of percentage into it so i thought let's uh, give it directly to the customer and just see how they like it so i uh, fortunately got into a we do organization uh, it's a women organization where uh, i luckily saw partha sir and he said uh, and why don't you uh, uh, get into this platform so that was an opening for me uh, it is a coffee startup company uh, i've given friends of friends and just started the business and i got this opportunity so my aim actually is to make every sip of coffee taste the same so i don't want any difference because lot of adulterations and certain people say they don't like the flavor they don't like the taste because of lot of chicory and all stuff so my aim is every sip you drink you should remember it's the same so it kick starts your whole day so that's that's the major reason why i started my uh, company called toponi coffee Tokoni is the name of a Maori language. It's a New Zealand-based name. It means help, help for anything. It can be help for a, give me a product or anything. So that's how I started this company. Thank you, Dan Lakshmi, for your kind flavor of coffee. Thank uh, you. Sir. Now I would like to call uh, Mr. Zair Hussain. our counterpart from uh, dubai who is the promoter of uh, my flavor my flavor.com is a very famous uh, online platform and uh, over to you mr zahir hi good evening to everybody how are you uh, first fine, of all fine, fine, uh, sir. First of all, I wishing you all a very happy International Women's Day for all the women who is joining here. I'm very glad to be on this uh, platform to talk about uh, exports to the Middle East. Okay. Myself is uh, I'm Zahir Hussain, uh, founder of Flavory Brand. Okay. I'm here in Dubai um, more than 20 years. Almost 22 years. I came here uh, uh, 2000. Uh, I'm doing this business for the last four, four and a half years. Okay. Before I was uh, in uh, advertising and media, so I was uh, art director of uh, a multinational company. So I moved to trading and uh, trading business. Uh, this is Thank my you. small. Thank you, Mr. Parta. We will talk. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Zair. It's our privilege to have you today. 
because uh, all these young women are certainly indebted to you because uh, you have taken them to the international arena with the help of uh, Millet Mart Ventures. So when I talk about Millet Mart Ventures, I cannot uh, stop from adding my beloved uh, Satya Narayananji. How I call upon Mr. Satya Narayan. Yeah, hi, good evening all, and uh, welcome to uh, the Talk Show, uh, second show of uh, India Startup. Yeah. Uh, I am Satya, Satya Raman, and uh, I run three startups. One is BranchToFoam.com, where we promote market and supply. Millet products from different brands in India to consumers all over India. Next one is PTA Enterprise and Food. So we manufacture millet noodles, millet pastas, and millet katras. Uh, the next one is uh, and also a partner with Mr. Parsarvi in uh, his millet part venture. And thank you for inviting me to this show. Uh, so, yes, let, let's continue this. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, uh, Thank so you. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. No, no, Satya, audio is not uh, yeah. Having so, some disturbance at your yeah. end. Yeah, some so echo is coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, is it okay now? Huh? Yeah, it's better now. It's better now. Yeah. It's better. Sorry about okay, 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 so, okay. Uh, uh, so I, I welcome all to the show and uh, uh, glad that let's continue with the show, sir. Yes, only you, Mr. Partha. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Satya. Uh, thanks for your uh, valuable time today. Uh, to take things further, uh, I know. Uh, uh, call upon uh, Ms. Divya and Madhavi uh, to share their experience on how they started this uh, entire proceedings over there and uh, why they are there into this uh, particular field. So before doing that, uh, I just want to have a small AV of uh, their product. Quite impressive, rather, the uh, way and the yeah. health and the taste together to lure the children. So, tell me how all it started, like where from you started and how you got into this particular venture, basically. Because I could see a lot many associations like IIMR, ICAR, and a lot of. Uh, governmental uh, support for incubation and uh, training. So share your experience of your journey. 
yeah like um, yes we had a very um, you know interesting and wonderful journey till now me and madhavi together so what happened uh, am i audible you are audible you are audible please go ahead so uh, my husband's job uh, you know uh, took me to hyderabad and where i am this uh, uh, almost like 14 years now i've been there and it's my second home today and uh, uh, i am basically from technical background but i didn't pursue my career and i ended up doing um, uh, school uh, teachers i became a teacher there once my children started going full time to school and then like i was not happy you know the way i wanted to give my service i couldn't give it so that you know compelled me to think of starting something on my own so that time like uh, you know i went for an edp course where i met uh, madhavi and uh, uh, we were like uh, thinking to do something on food because as a pa parents as a mothers we were struggling to give our children healthy snacks uh, you know all the junk foods at that time uh, you know way back in 2014 uh, the uh, supermarket shelves were filled with you know uh, uh, potato chips which are not healthy the coke and all so we couldn't find healthy snacks for our children so that ignited uh, you know the thought of starting uh, some healthy snacks but of what that was the question healthy snacks of what Uh, i being from assam from the northeastern part of india i am uh, like i never heard about millet so when we were exploring at that time so i came to know from my partner and other friends uh, you know in the cohort that uh, you know millet exists which is an ancient crop but unfortunately uh, it is not being consumed the way it should be and it has drastically reduced even the farmers you know cultivating the crop has reduced then i started explore uh, you know uh, on the internet i started you know uh, knowing more about it and uh, you know when i uh, started learn, knowing about it about the millet different type of millets the good part of it uh, that it is uh, good for the human beings it is nutritious for them it is economical for the farmers it is good for the planet it is drought rich drought crop drought resistant again it takes less water compared to other crops pest resistant so all these good qualities of millet made me fall in love with uh, uh, it made me fall in love with the crop you know then i told my partners no no second thought and we have to do something on millet so that is how we you know then i uh, tried to explore which are the millet organizations are there research institute where we can take help so that way we ended up going to uh, indian institute of millet research at the time it was uh, dsr and directorate of sorghum research so uh, we ended up there and thankfully during that time uh, there was a scheme in sim scheme from the government central government where they were encouraging the farmers to do uh, you know more of millet uh, cropping so they were looking for uh, you know uh, the whole value chain you know uh supply chain it has to be built so that farmers are encouraged to uh, you know uh, go for more millet cropping so they were looking for entrepreneurs and we were there uh, seeking help for something in millet so we ended up in indian institute of millet research uh, and saw their product in the lab and uh, we had an instant uh, you know mou with them for a year so we marketed their product that was like you know it helped us a lot uh you know uh, we need not to develop um uh, new products they were having their own products in house products in the name of it right we took them and we went to the market and uh, did the market study so it helped us so these institutions like uh, iimr and then we got incubated in ikrisat so where we got uh, you know the crispies technology and we started with uh, the millet crispies so that was very much loved by the people and then like eventually uh, you know madhavi got selected for walmart uh, edp course women edp course and uh, 
I got selected for Women's Ex 10,000 Women program in uh, Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore. And then uh, last year, I completed uh, 10,000 Women Women's Ex Ambassador program from Indian School of Business, Mohali. So that is how the journey happened. And, you know, today we, we are with us, that means with you people and, you know, uh, able to go for export. So I I want Madhavi to add to it what all we went through and, you know, uh, care I, for. Actually, yes. actually, it's a good for the farmer and for the environment also. So millet, being the millet, that is the main thing, mandated thing. So we thought of why don't we go ahead with this millet only. So uh, uh, for the mothers really making the roti and all those things, no, the mothers, no, nobody can't do that. Even I, uh, in the old age, uh, our nannies and dadis used to do. So that's why we thought of coming with the millet crispies uh, uh, first. So that was very much, it's not oil fried and all these things we, we came up with that. So that is a really what, what she told is correct. That is now also no, so many people will recognize with that product with us. So uh, and we enhanced with the biscuits also with the jaggery. So not with the, we are not using any sugars in that. So all these things some uh, uh, um, they, we got the products from the research institutes, but we have en enhanced it uh, very bit. Uh, why? Because uh, to it, it should be the customer friendly and uh, it should be healthy that is the uh, main motto of our uh, uh, starting the organization that is thank you for giving opportunity partha sir and such so kind of you ladies uh, uh, i now i would like to uh, listen from zahir so what exactly is there in their product so that Nike chose, yes, this can be promoted internationally. Yeah, uh, first of thing, uh, uh, I tested uh, their products. Okay, the quality is very good, actually very good. So we have we are given to the, when when we are uh, when we are in the Expo 2020. That time we have given more people okay, to taste it, this mm. product. But everybody like actually, not only from south or uh, north. Everyone is like, but uh, you know, Mr. Satya also know about this product. He was with me at the time. Uh, but only thing I might suggest, um, suggestion is, if you improve that uh, packaging, packaging if you improve better, it will be more better, I think. That's what I feel. But your product quality is, uh, the product quality is very good. But uh, something, uh, you know, that you have to lose innovative technology, something you have to do to your product, then it will be hit in the market. That's what I feel. Otherwise, your product is very new. Uh, Deva, did you have any opportunity to test these people's products over there in Dubai? I, I don't think because I didn't, I didn't give it uh, give actually. So I don't okay. think. Okay. Satya, you might have visited a lot many other counters there at Dubai. So, what do you feel that they are cutting edge or the advantage with other products to me? Or do you have any suggestion to them? Yes, there's, a, yes, there's the two things I just wanted to stress here. Uh, in, in line with what Mr. Zahir has said, uh, there is no doubt on the quality and taste. Okay, it is very. Uh, it's very good because uh, when we were in the India Pavilion in the Expo, we have given these samples to many Europeans. Europeans, they tasted it and they said it, 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 it is very good. They liked it. They liked the things, they liked the flavor, especially I'm talking about the uh, rhythm products when, when we had it to them. Uh, one thing which as Zahir said, uh, I did not visit the Gulf food, but uh, I was given this feedback from my other uh, other people in Brazil who, who were there. Even the, the, the Europeans were promoting their products. Then the way they have they, they, they package the product is very very different. 
very well. I have not tasted this European product, but the feedback which I get is, is a, that is something where we can focus on. It's not a rocket science. We have time. And when we improve on that, I'm sure with, with, with the, the quality, with the taste, and even the pricing, it was well accepted. Okay, from the UAE, because myself and Zahir were sitting down and then uh, uh, fixing the <coughs> reviewing and analyzing and comparing and fixing the pricing for the products there. I think once we improve on the tracking, I think the uh, we, uh, we will stand apart. We can capture the market there very well. So, any quick uh, takeaway from this particular conversation, uh, Madhvi and uh, Divya? Uh, yeah, I agreed. Like you know, as uh, Mr. Jahid and uh, Mr. Sector has said, like you know, the packaging part we have to work out. Um, yes, the choco balls, you know, we have now used the stickers. So that we are, we have already designed it and um, only we need to go for the cylinders making and the roll, uh, you know, standing pouch. Uh, so we are, uh, we are not doing that like uh, since uh, we need the volume to go for it. So probably very soon we will be taking it forward. And um, even the bars, uh, we are changing the way it is packed and the content written into it. And uh, uh, and the biscuits, inside we are now not giving the branded things, but uh, we already ordered the rolls. And, um, you know, inside we are putting five uh, packs of biscuits, you know, uh, with two biscuits in each pack. So that will be in branded form, in a roll form. So definitely that will enhance the whole packaging and I am hopeful like it will be liked by the people. And first, you people will really love it and then uh, we can for go forward and, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty much sure like uh, people will accept it, the new form of packaging as well as the taste and the quality. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Divya and uh, Madhavi. Please do stay with us uh, and let's listen from other ladies also. Okay, so uh, yeah. going further, I now uh, call upon uh, Ms. Padmavati Jay Kumar. Jay Raj, sir. So, yes, I'm sorry. Padmavati Jay Raj. I have a small AV day for them. Happy morning, members. My name is Padmavati Jay Raj. My company name is Barani Health Foods. We are into the manufacture of natural and traditional food products. Our main core product is uh, millet based multigrain health mix, which is made up of 21 essential ingredients like millets, pulses, grains, nuts, and spices. They are rich in vitamins and minerals and antioxidants, and it builds our bones and our immune system. It is highly recommended for infants, breastfeeding mothers, pregnant ladies, elderly people, and diabetic people. It is a uh, best substitute for breakfast. Our vision is to bring back a healthy society and make our people strong. Thank you. Thank you. That's quite interesting. There, uh, this is totally a new range of product. When you look at it, it is not just another uh, millet-based product or something like that. They talk about uh, a health drink week which can be used even for a breakfast or something like that. Uh, so, Sakti, sir, can you also come online so that uh, we can continue the discussions? Any quick word on that, uh, Zahir, why? Uh, no, the, the packaging is very good. Actually, that uh, for me also, this is a new product because I, uh, before I didn't uh, sell this product, actually, I was looking at this kind of products. So maybe it will be hit in the market. Because the quality way is very good actually. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Saktiwal, that uh, how do you feel that you have a very positive comment from uh, all along from Dubai? So, you feel on the top of the world or? Yes, always top of the world, sir. <laughs> so, always top of the world. Sir. <laughs> But any suggestions for uh, 
Barani. Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, Zahir sir, thank you, Partha sir, uh, thank you, Satya sir. This uh, I am the co-founder of Barani Health Foods, and uh, this product, as uh, uh, Mrs. Padmavati has told, it was because of the situation. Thanks for COVID, and I, I think I am the first person to say thanks to the COVID. <laughs> COVID is a situation which brought us into a new venture, and the two evaluated to make the society healthy. How we are healthy, and. Uh, Thanks for each and everyone who have helped me to design the product and the time we taken. Uh, we, uh, we we not only wanted our product to be uh, value added, uh, natural, everything, but also the packaging. We just wanted why we are not able. As a question always used to arise in my mind: Why Starbucks is coming in India, an international brand, and why an Arsus Coffee cannot rule the world? That is the main objective. Where we are lacking. We just wanted to give a product which is unique, which is very uh, safe to the farmers as well, and also we have to reach the market. Thank you, Partha sir, for guiding me all the way regarding my designs, everything. And Satya sir, he has taken a lot of time to spend with me for my suggestions to improve our product. And a kind word from Zagir sir about our uh, product. We are planning to uh, go with this forward. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So any quick words from you, Satya, for uh, Barani? Yes, yes, sure. Uh, Healthy drinks. Uh, I think there are other brands which we should be thankful. Uh, uh, Sakhivel and Padma Manam, Padma Manam, because uh, these brands like uh, which have already entered the market in Dubai, like Manna Health Base. So, so they have already created a good awareness among the people that yes, uh, multi millet or multi grain health mix, such a product is there. And now, when people are looking for options, now yes, so Barney will be maybe the second brand in the Dubai market. Okay, and I'm sure uh, with the taste, consistent taste that. Uh, uh, what any foods give the quality? I think you have to be getting repeated orders from Dubai market. Yeah, very good. Uh, so, uh, any quick uh, word, uh, Zahir sir? <coughs> because uh, customers are uh, more customers are asking about good uh, quality products because this is. Uh, Healthy mix, no. So already what uh, Satya said, Manna healthy mix is there in the market. But we have to promote. Uh, this is a new brand. This is a better than Manna. Like that only way we can uh, promote here. But I, I think so. It will it will be hit in the market because I, I have confidence. Because uh, if you do proper uh, marketing of uh, healthy mix, I think. Uh, marketing activities, uh, how do you plan, uh, Mr. Sir, we, we follow three types of marketing, sir. First, traditional, first, uh, form of, first and foremost, word of mouth networks. Second, traditional marketing. And third, social media. And we are, we are, uh, main, yeah, we are mainly focused on building our brand. And now it, it was an opportunity by you uh, to take us. See, as uh, uh, Satya sir was telling, thanks to Manna, they have they have given awareness about health drink, health mix, um, substitute for breakfast, nutritional value, everything. So now people around the world are expecting for an alternative or a more value added like that. So we take this opportunity to improve our product so that it is 100% um, meets all the requirements of four months baby to any age. We have tested our product live. Uh, we, have, we are more improvising. We are about to bring some flavors 
in Barney Health Mix, and uh, the confidence we got from our local market. We are available in Chennai across 35 pin codes right now, and uh, we are we are there in leading supermarkets without any advertisement, without any uh, branding activities. We have done only sample. Uh, Dair Bhai, that is one uh, interesting I wanted to share over here is you say that you are competing with uh, an already existing brand like Manna. Yes. So how do you feel a relatively new brand or a newcomer, you are going to pitch the product and promote it? What is the type of uh, activity you are planning or what do you feel that uh, these people should support you or yeah, help you out? Yeah, they have to support from uh, their uh, uh, in Chennai. From Chennai, they have to support through social media is a better uh, option. I think. Uh, so for the Middle East, uh, okay, uh, their product is available for uh, myflavory.com or uh, supermarkets in Dubai or similar. So they have to advertise from their uh, from their part. But here, I am also uh, targeting for online customers and. Uh, uh, supermarket okay. because now they are uh, what he is saying the alternative products because now manna health mixing gear but everybody is asking you have your own brand like that uh, they are asking online customers to me so i will i can sell through online and uh, supermarket okay so you want to I make money as a please please sir uh, yeah, I think we, we, are, we, we are lucky now because uh, there are a lot of awareness and promotions for millet which is coming from top down from the government. I think government of India promotes millet like anything. Uh, see, there is one way which I have been promoting five years before, but to in a new market where when there was no awareness, and this was pretty successful at that time. Uh, now we have all the players here, we have uh, the people who are going to implement it here, just connecting the dots, that's it. Since Mr. Zahir already has got his products uh, placed, other products placed in different restaurants, like uh, Deva Madam is her restaurant. One thing is that, see, when, when I was, I, I used to make uh, these health makes when I was promoting Lala's in Pune five years back. I used to prepare health mix from home, take it in a flask, in a small cup, stand in front of the shop and give it to the people who come in, the walk-in crowd. So once they taste it, when they like it, then they buy it. And so these restaurants which we have, maybe we can give as a welcome drink or something in a small cup as a, as a as for people to taste so that the, the taste gets when people like the taste, then there is nothing more than that because once People consume it, then they will immediately they will they will bite at least once when they see the result. Then the, the, the repetition will happen. In addition to different on, online and social media, I think this is one of the easiest way that can be quickly done by the team over here itself because we, we have everybody here. We can make it happen. That's quite thoughtful, Satya. So, what is your take on that, uh, Miss Deva? Giving free samples to your customers and creating some awareness. Of course, those samples will be given to you for free, madam. <laughs> 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 the product will be given, yeah. So, what is your take on that, or the thought process on that? Yeah, uh, first, uh, let me congratulate Satya and, uh, you know, like Mr. Jairaj for the uh, product which they have designed. It, it is really fantastic and good to know you guys through this tech talk. Uh, normally, uh, we would have heard like, you know, what we think and how we think makes us different from others, irrespective of whatever the brand that you have in. So competition is good to have it. Then only you will be able to know where you can place your product. Uh, 
so now here uh, we, we are talking about mana and other products yeah it, it is already created a value in the market but doesn't mean that you know others uh, will not be able to or will take time because we have a population which is uh, not sufficient for one player to uh, uh, fulfill the requirement so now here as um, we said like you know we, we, we are talking about entire now in india you you guys are producing this we are talking about the world market uh, understand how satya said like you know uh, K, uh, we have a kfc which is has their uh, shop here in india but we do not have our own this thing like you know in outside now this is the time probably the kind of exposure and thing now people are more they have more exposure i will just give you a small example um, um, uh, padmavati um, uh, like you know i'm sure uh, we would have heard about um, arunima sinha uh, she was like you know uh, volleyball national uh, champion um, i was going through her article and uh, came to know that you know um, uh, she met with an accident um, i mean a um, uh, train accident and then she lost her leg because of that accident and one leg she was having a um, uh, i mean you know plate operated with the plate and this accident happened in 2011 the way she uh, i mean you know um, uh, said it is really like you know anybody who is hearing that will uh, will uh, go down is that, that that kind of a story it was but i will just give you the end part what she said like you know 2011 april she went with an accident and then she got admitted that accident happened in a rural area i think um, uh, people have taken her to the nearby hospital and then uh, she said there was no anesthesia for her to for the surgery because they have to remove her one leg then she said to doctor since i was going through this pain for the entire night it's okay i'm ready for it do the surgery without anesthesia and they did surgery without anesthesia and after that they brought her i mean they took her to a, a city hospital and the time when she left from that hospital this particular accident happened in 2011 when the when she moved out from the hospital Uh, she has taken a oath by herself since uh, okay v- volleyball is the career but now what is next for me what i am going to do it and she decided by herself stating that she will climb mount everest just imagine one leg is not there and the other leg with the surgery plate um a uh, normally normally what people will think like you know if i'm able to walk is better if i'm able to do some kind of a work is better but she has imagined something which is beyond the borders and then you know the lovely part of this imagination in 2013 uh, may she said that she climbed mount everest and that's something so i, I always think like you know what you believe and also she said that reason for her success is she thought about it and she believed in her thought and that's how she she was able to achieve that so that's a example like you know uh, which is a real example now for us uh, and we we could understand as a process how much trauma that she would have gone through in that and that too in a very short time of 2 years but what we are talking about is bringing our own identity our own brand in the market and that is very much possible let whoever the big competitor there in the market we don't need to compete with their product let's make sure our products are best just focus on that that your product is best and people will like it and definitely it can happen and uh, regarding marketing side as uh, mr shaktivel said there are different types of marketing uh, you have your social media marketing going uh, like you know networking based marketing and uh, as uh, mr satya also said like you know having a samples in the restaurant which is one of the good idea i mean you know your uh, products you can keep it for sample remember now today scenario people are very much health conscious and if they like your product they will find it out whether you are available in dubai well and good 
if you are not available they will make sure once in a year or in a year there are so many people who are traveling from india they will say okay this is a place where this product we'll is available it. please get it so yes. that that's the uh, quality of the product which we are talking about so just concentrate on that and then here like you are as a producer are there uh, zahir is here like you know who can bring the items and then market it here there are like us there are so many other stores are here where the product can be kept and we are more happy to have our own indian product coming into international market and whatever is the best possible support we can give it definitely we will give it and but make sure consistency of your product and the quality remains because that yes. is the two thing what people like it and then if you focus on that nothing more uh, more than this and the product is definitely will be a successful one thank you ma'am your words uh, are very valuable yeah very valuable suggestion and it's a very inspiring yes. example that you are given no okay, with somebody can claim the mount everest uh, with one yeah. leg and prove that the sky is only the beginning sky yes. is only the beginning it is not the limit so if you yeah. have the will power you can travel beyond that Yes, so yeah. thank you uh, saktiwel and uh, padmavati ji please do stay with us and yes, uh, we'll continue our further uh, stories uh, with uh, two more young girls uh, i now uh, would like to call upon uh, dhanlakshmi and of course uh, jayashri jayashri i hope you are there yeah so now we have come to all to gather a different uh, terrain now so uh, then let me a quick quick word that i understand that your parents are there in coffee and uh, it's a very big domain it's a very 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 big domain where uh, towards the beginning satya was telling that you know ki and even zair bhai was telling that uh, people like narsus coffee are not going there internationally so you are relatively a new player and uh, how do you feel that uh, like uh, this transformation and i think how do you feel yeah uh, so i really have the confidence sir, because uh, people i have given a lot of samples to people and people really love the coffee uh, so i have the confidence in my product and i i can definitely say that uh, people will like it so with that confidence i came into the market and i gave few samples to all of them and all of them liked it so that's why i, I felt strong and i got into the market uh, many other companies add a lot of chicory into it sir so that part can be completely uh, taken care by me uh so that's uh, being a competition there's competition in everything but my strength was i can give you a very good quality consistently so because it's my seed which i grow right so that's why i got into it confidently into the market that's good yeah that's quite uh, impressive than like me uh, any quick advice from you zahir sir uh no actually i ट्रस्ट विल कम So we have to give more samples or what? What she said. We have to give initially. We have to give the samples to to cover the market. Yeah, that's what I. Uh, sure. That's uh, very good. And Deva, I want to ask you one thing over here. Uh, yeah. How do you feel that the institutional business uh, can help uh, Dan Lakshmi for this? institutional business definitely like you know uh, dhanalakshmi um, you can try on that because that also is is a different uh, marketing place where um, i mean you know 
you will have a fast uh, movement of the product there are that is also one of the place where like you know your product reaches out well because instead of having like you know in in you you need to find out your own market as zahir said there is a lot of competition fine we we should know about our competitor product but we don't need to ignore them because ignorance is not acceptable in the business but at the same time no it is not necessary for us to get afraid about them you have to find out your own strategy for your own product marketing in which institutional uh, selling is like you know um, is one of a place where you can reach your product fast in the market okay. mm, that's good uh, so that is quite interesting uh, satya do you suggest a free sampling for the the lakshmi over here like uh, what we suggested yes, for barani yeah. foods uh, yes we can do that if we, we can do that but the one thing still see is uh, madam is you uh, the market i would like to say one quick thing man focus on the always on the uh, quality consistency and taste madam not to, as you said uh, first the simple throw the coffee and whenever people taste it they should have the same taste whether the first packet or whichever batch it is the taste they should it should be the same don't compromise on that and uh, see i'll tell you why other players i have very close friends who own very top brand in in, in chennai in india you see they have not approached the right people who can take the supply chain to dubai okay they have not they don't have a, now you are you are in the right place because as uh, deva madam said rahir can take the product to dubai and we can place it in different stores but if once your product is consistency and once the, to make the people to taste it and if they like it then they buy it again if, if it's a copy is like what according to me my point of view is like addiction make so people get addicted to coffee they they drink coffee this is because of because of their taste because not on a bad side i'm saying but they they get addicted to it they, they like it so they take it so so you have to the product should make people okay to get addicted to that particular product yeah. so i think that that will are... sell the product you just focus on the quality if the quality is good then we we as millet mart and uh, mr zahir we have the right supply chain to take it to the to, to the uh, middle east market right market so right market all the six these these different yes See, one thing what you need to understand as deva was pointing out you know it's a very huge virgin market okay and demand supply is totally there not in the right proportion as of now so we are there at the beginning of the race and we are the advantage of being the first player over there and take it and one quick word about tokoni coffee zahir sir she is not into that instant coffee as of now what is going to be your suggestion on that side instant coffee is not there no it's filter coffee sir it's a filter coffee oh, basically okay. filter, coffee. filter coffee has a good market for there are some set of people who particularly likes filter coffee so only thing they yeah. have they know how to make it yeah okay. exactly. the taste yeah. they i have tasted i have tasted the coffee and that is in par with any top local brand which is sold here in chennai tamil nadu there is no compromise on it i i like it thank you so thank you. i think uh, i think you should go on the display board like you know the ccd what they do it you can think of even uh, opening out uh, parallel uh, small small outlets over there where you need not give it as a free sample maybe free sampling can be done uh, to one or two days and maybe consequently you can start the entire uh, operation like ccd you know if you go to small outlets like adigas there in uh, bangalore you will have this coffee counter separately over there they have very small about 100 ml 
cup only they have it and with the charge about say some 15 rupees 20 rupees something like that the quality is very very good really something like that so i think that one particular excess can always be thought of and uh, of course you have all the time in the world to do all your exercise and then go into a bigger line and uh, coming back to jayshri you know you see uh, you have very huge uh, list of sk and uh, Whereas I believe that a uh, like very small quantity of SKV has been shortlisted for uh, uh, Middle East as of now. So what is your thought process on that? How do you feel that like you okay when we can improve the count? Uh, first of all, thank you so much Daiva for sharing the true story. That has really encouraged me. I literally got goosebumps. So uh, coming to <laughs> your point, yeah, that was something much needed for me today. Uh, so, uh, as you said that, yes, we do have huge uh, number of SKUs uh, in Skyward's basket and uh, uh, very few have been shortlisted, but uh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine because we, you only said that uh, huge, comp uh, huge demand is available, supply is not, uh, that balance is not there, but definitely we'll, we are more focused on the quality and the service of our products and very sure uh, i'm very sure that very soon uh, our all our skus will be there in middle east market thank you lovely lovely very good lovely that is the right spirit i would say jayashri uh, so lovely. what do you say zahir bhai it's a straight uh, allegation on their part not giving opportunity equally <laughs> <laughs> maybe satyan zahir can share the view for you yeah. Actually, I'm post COVID, we understood two things. Uh, <laughs> we understood two learnings. First, that consumers are ready for uh, the change, and consumers are looking for more healthy options and healthy lifestyle. And second learning is entrepreneurs are looking for collaborations. So yes, we are here for collaboration with healthy products and healthy lifestyles. So definitely, very soon we'll be there in the Middle East. Uh, see, I put for that question very deliberately because uh, I know you are current mindset you know you, because you were there i was there also part of the day when we shortlisted the products and other things so there is nothing personal or intentional or whatever it is because it was only a free sampling campaign that we wanted to do and there is no point in taking a very huge uh, quantity and distributing there without any sense or something like that so what's your comment on that uh, there why no andri what uh... Yes, he said. So already I have uh, more products in my basket. <laughs> okay. So slowly we can take their product also. Uh, they are all products. But uh, now we have chosen only three, four products only. Um, anyway, there I tested uh, their product. Their product is really, really very good actually. Uh, the thing is only this millet bar. This is a millet uh, bar. No, this is new in the market actually. Uh, because I have seen all the supermarkets, they have different, uh, you know, nuts bar, like that only I have seen. But millet bar is uh, not there in the market much. So I think uh, we can, uh, uh, if we do proper marketing, then we can uh, hit the market. That's what I feel. But uh, the, the product is all uh, new products in the market, millet bars. So what's your take on that, Satya? Satya, what's your take I, on that? I have personally tasted the product. See, I more from a quality aspect. Okay, uh, I, I I should say I even try to break the quality, but the product is very good. I do a lot of things just to see how 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 products uh, uh, yeah uh, withstand my my test. <laughs> I should say <laughs> that it is very good. Okay. Uh, and 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 uh, millet bars, uh, sky roots definitely will will crack the market in the Middle East. I'm confident in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, small levy of uh, my flavory. Uh, so with your permission, I'll play that for a while, and then we'll come back to.
that's that's quite awesome uh, there bhai so my next question to you is like you have such a vast uh, product there and uh, to do justice to any product it is going to be a very uh, tight rope walk i can understand that uh, but what do you feel that the support you expect from the manufacturers and from uh, millet mart and also the support that you can extend to these people so that nike it's a win win uh, situation for everybody yeah first of all uh, in this market millet awareness is it bit less actually uh, not like uh, rice products okay now we have to create the awareness of millets first of all that's what i feel so from the beginning we have to start like that so once we set up the millet products from next year onwards it will hit in the whole middle east okay so first we have to give the awareness of millets for that we need a uh, support from manufacturers like uh, social media advertisement marketing uh, even uh, posters or uh, health benefits what are the health benefits nutritional facts what is the nutritional facts compared to uh, rice products like that we need all uh, kind of uh, promotional material we need for uh, to set up the millet uh, products that's what uh, i feel so everyone has to support from the from the no that i understand but with respect to social media uh, i feel that it has to be a more personalized approach rather than like just going uh, vaguely there into social media promotion of the products and i think do you have any specific game plan for that so that we can work upon that and then try to Uh, reach more and more people rather i would like to have uh, satya's views also on this particular point no uh, see one is from what zahir has asked uh, for uh, promotion aspects from the millet perspective we are ready to share with you all the uh, various promotional activities in the we uh, uh from 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 millet mart okay comparison with uh, nutrition value because we we are a part of we are we are also supported by various promotions from i indian institute of millet millet research hyderabad we get lot of promotional activities from them we can pass it on to you and uh, that is one thing sir the second thing is when i was talking to different people in dubai buyers and even partners of mr zahir in his warehouse they were asking what is the usp what is the usp your product is having so from that myself and zahir were also discussing during the day time over phone i just wanted to share that i will take one minute is it okay sir yeah yeah please go ahead we have another 6 uh, minutes no no problem okay so uh, the millet mart is the uh, uh, first company uh, who who are successful in uh, bringing technology okay into the uh, entire millet value chain the 360 degree uh, so so we we have partnered with one of my other companies a enterprises who has already been given iso certification for quality management for of the product so one thing we are going to support is the first blockchain implementation which millet mart is implementing for uh, millet noodles and the pastas so we are going to, it's a qr code based implementation where it will be on every product so when the customer scans the qr code it it tells about the various quality aspects which have been followed in the manufacturing and packaging process so whatever the a enterprises has been implementing 
manually in the form of a quality certificate which they issue for every batch before they dispatch we are going to digitize it with the help of minute mark and provide a qr code where when the customer scans it all the information which is available in the quality certificate will be visible to the customer digitally so that is something which we are implementing and we are going to have this my flavory as the first brand international brand for based blockchain for for the millet noodles and pastas first in the world millet noodles that is something which uh, i i can personally support zahir and the my flavory brand uh, and, uh, and that will be the first product from our side we are planning to launch it that's good yeah whatever so we have quite been interesting doing manually, yeah whatever we have been following manually which is there in the books in the manual in the in the records okay we are just going to digitize it see the, the biggest problem in blockchain is people have to implement it in our case it it is very opposite because we have been implementing the good processes only thing is that we just have to digitize it so it is very easy so that is why we just wanted to take the easiest thing where which is the biggest challenge for blocking which is an advantage here okay which is an advantage here because the process is already being followed it's the process of just entering it and when millet mart is giving us the digitization in the form of a qr code so i think every product which goes out of aa will have the qr code in it which is a quality certificate for the product that it has been quality checked it is a quality check by a separate independent unit outside the factory so that is that will be the that's, usp and that is the support which we can yeah give for so that yeah. that's quite a that's quite a all claim uh, satya and uh, i wish that uh, we try to implement it asap so what's your yeah. take on that jay uh, sir yeah what is that already spoke to satya about this so this is the one of the main usb of uh, our brand i think so we, we can take it forward actually very good so that is one aspect and the second one is uh, as you are talking about the continuous promotion of the concept of millet itself uh, now we have decided to do this uh, shows almost uh, at least to start with uh, every week if not twice a week so we'll still work out if you feel that no instead of monday to tuesday it could be better on saturdays or sundays or any day so we can identify that day and then uh, try to uh, introduce more and more uh, recipes and then make it more popular maybe people like uh, ms deva and other uh, restaurant uh, uh, in charge can be involved in that so that the concept is more made much more uh, popular and they can also try to implement the recipes over that so your quick word on that uh, deva uh yeah sure um you know mr partha like uh, um, i wanted to i think the show is going to get end right yeah it we have another 2 3 minutes no problem okay i actually uh, first like you know um, i should um, uh, wish jayshree that jayshree you will definitely go long way but no, no, um, we you hold it for the final round up we will hold it for the individuals now we okay. are talking about the concert because i love all the women together for another 2 uh, 3 minutes so that they can do do the conclusion of the women day celebration okay so sure. we will all exit we will all exit <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should be there right like you know to no, cheer no, we'll be there i'm just <laughs> telling on the light <laughs> yeah Not to promote the concept of millet, I am talking that particular. So that aspect. is what that is what like you know promoting the concept of business. Like I mean you know millets. First thing to all the uh, producers here of millets, like you know one thing, 
never take uh, your business is like a form of generating money you, you have to make sure that you create a identity and legacy out of that so when when you think your business from that point of view uh, the thought process changes when we take it as a business only uh, which is going to get earnings is something a different a way of uh, getting into and when you take a business like you know um, uh, creating your own legacy the entire thought process changes so make sure because i understand there are a lot of uh, i mean you know um, budding entrepreneurs are there so uh, to start with itself when you go with that direction things falls on a right way and um, when this happens like you know uh, whether it is about the product quality consistency of the product um, reaching out to the customers uh, how you want to reach out whether you are going to uh, go with the schools colleges offices or uh, you know like a supermarkets are you going to go as a retail or a wholesale all these things comes in the way you think so that goal has to set first where you want to keep your brand and then work on the process so that is more easy for you to achieve that so that's the thing which i wanted to tell to all the uh, female i mean you know um, um millet producers who are here you guys are doing uh, in 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 your own uh, capacity like you know uh, in india uh, make it make sure that these things are in place so uh, nothing will um, uh, i mean you know take you back and then i'm sure all these brands probably in um, in a year or few down the line we might all celebrate being one of the international product yeah so yeah, best yeah, wishes for amazing. that that's amazing uh, satya and uh, jair bhai thank you for your valuable time now it's all going to be all women time for another 2 3 minutes over there to conclude the show so i would like to add upon all the women over there one by one okay thank you you can be online no problem so it's good to see all women again uh, over here so any, anybody else is left i think uh, so now you can share your uh, word is uh, deva about uh, the entrepreneurship and the your word of encouragement to them and all these things maybe uh, definitely thank you thank you mr partha first let me thank uh, mr partha zahir and uh, satya for giving this opportunity to share my view and get all of your views in this platform thank you so much um, as i said like you know um, whatever i am a person who think always big because the dream has to be big so that you can achieve it and whatever you think make sure think with whole heartedly uh then the, how you think things will take you accordingly so our thinking is very important and uh, be strong like you know because i will tell you as a small example uh, when i came here in uae in 2007 i was working in a company almost for five years and then thought of starting my own business and uh, there are some who have encouraged but many who have discouraged because they they were like you were earning well yeah i was Voice is breaking. Yeah, the voice. Yeah. Uh, anyways, it is. Uh, Ten years. All. In business, I'm so happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now it's audible. Sorry, we yes, lost. Yes. 
lost your connection i guess yes, uh, could you please repeat because we lost the most important yes, words yeah. yes there are some connectivity issue some bandwidth yeah. issue ah yeah yeah so it has been 10 years that you know uh, successfully uh, in business lots of ups and down in every point of time but the only one simple goal work on what what really you want to achieve focus on that and things will place on uh, i think you know uh, definitely during this 10 years of journey i'm sure i would have inspired some women like you know in their entrepreneurship career and also who have spoken today like you know be, uh, before me definitely you guys also would have created some kind of inspiration to some of the women and on this women international women uh, day celebration i wish that um, let's be inspiration to many and uh, keep inspiring others and uh, i mean you know uh, good luck to all of you and hope to have a, a oh, wonderful, uh, big wonderful big grants big grants coming thank you thanks thank mr parta mr parta for the opportunity for the opportunity and best wishes and best to best wishes to all thank you ma'am thank you thank you yes you have it you have it and i am going to now So I've seen all the learning, all the tools, and you have inspired me. And you have inspired me to tell you, tell you. Yeah. Yes. So any quick word from you, Dibya? Dibya, take away, take away, take away. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. and uh, you know here uh, you know here uh, yeah, you see the you see the the products and the products and all the we we are uh, their businesses are uh, their businesses are uh, taking uh, businesses take for and making them for and making them you know i guess it is echoing i guess it is echoing <laughs> uh, uh yeah so yeah like, i am a very optimistic and you know uh, person with a no give up attitude <laughs> so i guess all of you are like that and that is why we are here together so my heartfelt best wishes to all of you and hoping to meet you all uh, one day probably in dubai if uh, you know <laughs> all things good yeah yeah jai shri uh thank you so much partha for creating this platform first of all because this is something uh, which i have uh, attended for the first time all women entrepreneurs uh, and from the millet segment particularly and across the country like daiva is there to guide us to give her uh, important words and that has really encouraged us so all the best all ladies let's rock together let's be supportive system to each other thank you so much yeah the youngest of the lot dhan lakshmi dhan bhi hai lakshmi bhi hai yes go ahead thank you thank you sir i never expected such a big platform a meeting uh, devani arunachalam uh, is something was a shock for me because i just seen her in the videos so i really knew that this is what is the actual situation and what the buyer really need you know so that platform is very clear in this uh, entire forum for us so thanks a lot and thanks a lot thank you so thank you everyone for the wonderful day and also for sharing your views and concepts and everything over there and this is the tech talk show of india startup 360 this is the second of the such serials over here and uh, with the assurance that we will be coming out with our next show at the earliest possible time uh, with uh, some more interesting uh, aspects i just uh, thank you everyone for uh, the wonderful time and uh, 
your thoughts and also your beautiful services to the community uh, with that signing up for the day and uh, we'll be right back in our next show at the earliest thank you everyone thank you